So today I'm going to be upgrading my NAS storage server. And I've made a few videos about this thing in the past already. We built it from an HP Z400 with a Xeon processor. And I have currently four six terabyte drives in there in RAID Z2. So as you can see on our screen here, we currently have 3.7 terabytes available. That was after deleting some files in preparation for this video. And the other six and a half terabytes of storage out of our 10.1 or so terabytes is all being used at the moment. And what I've done again in preparation for this video is add an eight terabyte Exos drive from Seagate as well. And what that allowed me to do is back up that six and a half terabytes onto that drive so that we can now delete off our old pool with those four six terabyte drives and then have all, everything already backed up onto that Exos drive so that we can then move it back over once we get our new pool set up. Uh, so we're going to be adding one more six terabyte drive. So that's going to be five drives in RAID Z2, which should give us around going from 10.1 terabytes of storage to 15.6 or so terabytes of storage, which is plenty at that point. So all I'm going to do to get ready for our upgrades is delete off all the old files and then uh, disconnect this pool so we can then add our new drive and set up our new pool with five drives. Uh, and we also have a new 750 watt power supply for that guy. I ran out of SATA ports, so I'm just going to uh, throw in the new power supply so that we can get plenty of SATA ports when we decide to add more drives or add a new pool down the line. And also just keep the system in the overall power efficiency curve of the power supply. Currently, we have, I believe it's a 450 watt 80 plus bronze power supply. So this should definitely be a nice bump in efficiency for this system. So like I said, we're going to get this pool disconnected, delete everything off of it, and then jump into our upgrades. So here we have our system. So as you can see, we have our four six terabyte drives down at the bottom here. And then we have our one eight terabyte Exos drive, which everything is now backed up on. So we're going to eventually, of course, copy everything over from our backup onto our uh, final pool. Once we add our fifth Seagate Iron Wolf drive, six terabytes yet again. Uh, and currently we are using our SAS card. So I had a SAS card in here. I never needed it with just the four drives because we had enough SATA ports on the motherboard. But now that we've have the eight terabyte Exos and our new drive, we're of course uh, using that SAS port. So we just have our SAS connector, SAS to four additional SATA connectors. So first things first, we're gonna swap out this CX450 for our fully modular uh, co Cooler Master 750 watt power supply. And this should give us plenty of SATA power connections, plus just be way more efficient than our current power supply. Just keeping this NAS as efficient as possible. It's always running, it's pretty power hungry. Uh, so giving it the 750 watt power supply should keep it uh, as efficient as we possibly can. And it's 80 plus gold, so that is always a benefit. So I'm gonna throw in our six terabyte hard drive plus our power supply, and I will see you guys when it's done. So there we have it guys. We have our five six terabyte Iron Wolf drives down there at the bottom and our one Exos eight terabyte drive at the top that is handling all of our backup right now. So there we go. All we have to do now is boot into FreeNAS and set up our pool with our five drives and RAID Z2. So let's jump into that. So with our system booted up, we are now in FreeNAS. And when I go to add a pool, I'm gonna create a new pool. And as you can see, we have all five of our six terabyte hard drive showing up as five and a half terabytes. So we get ADA 
2 through 5, those are all the ones connected to the actual SATA ports on the motherboard. ADA0 and ADA1 are two boot drives, and then DA1 is the one drive that we just connected to our SAS card. So when we go to create our new pool, I'm just going to call this one data, and we are going to select all the disks. So now with our five uh, drives added to our data VDEVs, we can now select what type of pool we want. So we have Stripe, Mirror, RAID Z, RAID Z2, and RAID Z3. So if we select RAID Z, that means we have one drive of parity. And as you can see, we would have 21.8 terabytes worth of usable storage. We went RAID Z3, that's three drives of uh, parity. Then we would have the same amount, the 10.9 terabytes. Uh, if we went to Stripe, we'd have all of it. So we'd have 27 terabytes. But what we're gonna do is RAID Z2, so two drives worth of parity. So we can have any two disks fail out of our five and we keep all of our data. So with all of that selected, I'm just going to hit create, hit confirm, everything's going to be deleted off the drives, that is fine. We're gonna hit create pool. And there we go. We have our data uh, pool created, as you can see, 15.62 terabytes free. So what I'm gonna do now that we have our data uh, pool created is create a data set within this. So I'm going to add a data set. I'm going to call it uh, data set. No comments, inherit. We're going to keep the share type as Windows, and that will allow us to SMB share to our Windows system. And then we can use a share drive to access our free NAS, leave everything else as inherit. And we're going to hit save. And then I've already created a user on my free NAS system. So I'm just going to edit the permissions for our new data set, uh, keep it at Windows and have the user be myself. And there we go, hit save. So now our pool is created and we have everything set up for sharing. So now I'm just gonna go to sharing, go to Windows SMB shares and add one for data and data set. And then the name of that is going to be NAS. So when we search in our share drive, that's how it shows up. And there we go. Hit save. And now we have our NAS data set accessible from Windows. So when I go to our dashboard, we should now see two, uh, two pools. Our first pool is the backup that we stored everything onto that eight terabyte Exos drive. And now we have all five drives inside of our single ZFS RAID Z2 pool. Looking perfect, looking beautiful. So now all I have to do is wait probably a day or so. The amount of time it takes to copy over the six and a half terabytes from our backup back over to our NAS. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, but I hope you guys liked the video and enjoyed the nice update to the NAS. Adding in that 750 watt power supply, keep the system nice and efficient and adding in our extra six terabyte drive to get us to 15.6 terabytes of usable storage on this NAS, which should last us plenty at this point. The 10 terabytes or so, the seven terabytes we had used up lasted about a year or so. So hopefully we can fill this guy up in about a year and then we'll see what happens down the line, how we decide to upgrade. Maybe it's swapping out all the six terabyte drives for higher capacity, but we'll, we'll end up having to see exactly the best course of action at that point in time. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or any comments about setting up your own free NAS system uh, or any questions about upgrading an old one, definitely leave those in the comments below. And if you haven't already, definitely get subscribed to the channel so you can stay up to date on my latest videos. And I will see you guys in the next one.